Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to go in with an everyday drugstore makeup look. And so this is very easy, it took me about 15 minutes to put together. It's very fresh and dewy and everyday. It's not too heavy, it's not too cakey. Everything kind of just makes me look awake and fresh and ready to take on the day. And kind of put together in a very small amount of time. I think this is a great look for going to work or maybe going to class or something. Um, if you even wear makeup to class, I know I don't. <laughs> But if you guys want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I've been loving this for a very long time. So I'm just going to take about a pea-sized amount. And just really keep that in my T-zone. Next I'm going to go over top with my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Now this is really going to help fill in my pores. Now I at first was really interested by this because it's clear. And it has like a silicone texture, so I was hoping it wouldn't be too slick, especially if I use it on my T-zone, but it proved me wrong. Next I'm going to go straight in with foundation, and I've been loving the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am in the shade Buff Bisque. I'm just going to shake this up a little bit. And I'm just going to apply it with the paddle using the amount that I know I need. If you're ever working with the new <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> if you're ever working with the new foundation, I do suggest you work in little patches to see how much coverage you need. Now I'm just going to buff that in. Now, I really like the coverage of this foundation. It is very long-wearing. Um, and it does it does have a little bit of a flashback, even though it has been tested with flash. But it's not the worst thing. On camera, I look a little crazy, but this shade matches me almost perfectly. I'm typically in, like, the light to, like, light-medium shade range. Next, I'm going to go with my LA Girl Concealer, and I am in the shade Light Ivory. So I'm just going to take that a little bit on my chin, a little bit under my eyes, right here on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose. And I typically don't take it all the way up here on my eyes, I feel like that's when I most crease. Um, and so I just kind of keep it down here and then carry it up with my sponge. And I'm just going to blend that in. And the sun is coming out. Wow. Amazing. Next, to kind of highlight, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age Wine Concealer in the shade Neutralizer. <laughs> there we go. Now, this is a nice yellow based concealer, so it's really going to help brighten my under eye area. Now, it may seem like I went in with a lot of concealer, but my purpose for doing this is, one, is to really correct and kind of get it to my skin tone, under my eyes especially, um, and then the second one is really going to brighten. I find that if I ever don't do two separate steps for this, and I just go in with one brightening concealer, that it actually makes my under eyes look kind of ashy, so I go in with that second concealer, and I just make sure that they are formulas that don't crease on me. See, look at the difference. Okay, next I'm just going to set everything in place using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I'm not going to swipe, I'm just going to kind of blot that all over. Now this is a translucent powder that I got. 
so I'm going to use this all over the face. I'm just going to drop it really quick. I'm always sure to carry down the neck because I also take foundation down there too. So, because this is a natural everyday look, I do like to put highlighter on before my bronzer. I feel that it really gives me a nice sheen to the skin as opposed to a stark highlight. So the highlight I'll be using today is from NYX. It is the um, Moonlight Pearls Baked Highlight. So this is a very dry formula. And so I, when I first bought this, I was like, like ready. You can probably like hear me. Like it comes off really nice and you think it's going to be like really pretty. And you swatch on the back of your hand, you're like, oh, it's nice. But I feel like the color payoff isn't as great as they want it to be. And so I'm just going to go in with my setting spray and just spray the whole pan. And then apply this bad boy. These give a very natural sheen to the skin, which is what I really like for the daytime. As you can see, it just kind of gives me a nice, like, dew look. Mmm, ladies. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and really warm up the face. And I've been loving the Rimmel bronzer. Um, it's a natural bronzer. It's waterproof. So I'm just going to take that on a stippling brush, and as always, I'm going to start in my temples here. The reason why I do that is because if I ever take on too much product, I can easily blend it up or down. Um, and it also won't make me look too, like, dirty if I kind of go too heavy there. And then I'm just going to blend it into the bottom of my cheekbones. I don't think I'm going to contour today, but I definitely want to warm up the face, and I feel like that makes a dramatic difference. Now my eyebrows kind of come out like the bone, they're pretty um, prominent here, so I do like to take a little bit of the bronzer and just kind of dust over it just because that is where I will get some sun. If I ever get sun, the sun like already went away. <laughs> so depressing. And a little bit along my jawline here, not enough to make it look like I have a foundation on that's too dark for me, but enough to give me some definition. And I just cleaned off the lips using a big wipe. I think I went over too much here. There we go. Next, I'm just going to go in and warm my face with some blush. I don't really put on a whole ton, but I have been really loving this one from e.l.f. It is in the shade Twinkle Pink, and I just kind of dust that all over my cheeks. Now, I use the same brush as I use for my highlight, and so I like to just kind of pat it in, get a little bit of pigment, and just lightly rotate that into my skin. I like to take that right in between my highlight and my bronzer and just kind of add a little bit of pink to my cheeks. So I just went in and quickly filled in my brows using my, oh, here's my mirror, um, my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Just really kind of give them that natural like shade without having to be over dramatic. Next, I'm just going to go with the Brow Mascara, and this is from L'Oreal, and it's the Brow, what is it, the Brow Stylist Plumper, and I've been really liking this one. It just kind of gives, like, a wash of color, an extra dimension to your brows without being clumpy, and that's, like, my biggest thing, is, like, I usually find that, like, tinted brow gels are really clumpy, and this isn't. Next, I'm just going to set everything in place with my matte setting spray from NYX. So uh, be warned if you have dry or sensitive skin, I would stay away from this because alcohol is the second ingredient. Um, but for my combination of oily skin, I really have been loving it. The sun is so annoying today. It like, like, only wants to come out a little bit. And then my last step, I'm just going to get all of the product out of my eyelashes without having to wear mascara. If you do wear mascara, obviously go in with whatever you need. But I like to just kind of comb through with a clear mascara and I like the one from... Maybelline is a great lash, and I kind of just comb through and get rid of any foundation or bronzer or something that may have fallen to my lashes.
Now, since I don't have any drugstore lip liners, I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. It's up this time. I know I know. I called it NYX before. The e.l.f. Um, highlight and just kind of take that in the center of my lip. I'm really loving to do this lately. Because you get that extra dimension without having to go crazy. Alright, you guys. So that concludes this drugstore everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep in mind I put out videos every Friday, so please subscribe so you can be in the loop with those. And comment below on what you'd like to see next. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.